So let's talk about the password generator. You can get to the password generator by going to tools and clicking on password generator. You'll see there's a custom profile here and there's also auto automatically generate passwords for new entries. You notice how when I click on that, automatically generate passwords for new entries in the custom, it changes. So you can actually customize your own password generation profile. And we'll show you how to save that near the end of the video. You'll see this current settings here and each of these check marks indicate which of the characters you're going to have when you like to generate a password. So if I actually click on generate password now and show you that password, you'll see it's a combination of uppercase, lowercase, and digits because we have these checked. Of course, you can include minus signs, underline, spaces, special characters, brackets, and high ANSI characters. High ANSI characters are those characters in the ANSI character set which would include upper and lowercase characters with accents. For example, if we click on this and click on generate password, you'll see there's a lot of characters here with accents. Of course, you can also include additional characters if you so choose. For example, if I wanted to include only the dollar sign, I could enter that in, click the generate key, and you'll see it may or may not be added to the character set. Another option, of course, is that you can decrease the amount of characters in the character set. Of course, the more pa characters are in the character set, the stronger the password. Let's try eight, and you'll see there's only eight, eight characters there now. You do have a little more control over generating passwords. You can click on generate using patterns instead of generate using the character set. For example, if I were to enter one, two, three, four, not a very strong password, and I said generate, I get one, two, three, four. You can also randomly permute characters of the password. So it'll take that one, two, three, four and scramble them. You'll see now I have three, four, two, one, or three, one, four, two. You can also collect what we call additional entropy. Let's go ahead and click on that and click Generate. And you can see we can use our mouse as a random source, which you've seen when you created that database file, or you can enter random keyboard input. There are additional advanced settings we can choose. We can choose no repeating characters, exclude look-like characters, and also exclude the following characters. I'm just going to cancel that, leave it the way it is. Let's go back to generate using character set, and I'm going to generate a new password. After I uncheck this, I'm going to hide that password. Watch what happens when I click accept. You'll see there's now a new entry here. So from here, I can go ahead and edit that. And you'll see that the password has already been added here. From here, I can go ahead and edit the additional entries, including adding my title, username, URL, etc. Of course, this will really come in handy if I'm creating a new email account, for example. I haven't actually added my username or password yet. So from there, I can add my username and password that I've added in this entry here. I'm going to cancel that, delete this entry here. I'm going to right click, go to add entry. And you'll see, if I hide this, that I already have a password entered. Why is that? Well, let me cancel this and go to password generator. And you'll see it's automatically generated passwords for your entries using these settings. So anytime I can go ahead and make changes, click Save, and I can go ahead and save my new custom profile. Really nice to do that. So that's it. We've walked you through how to generate random passwords in the various settings for the password generator.